Today on the workbench, I have a 1971 Martin D1228 12 string uh, that I picked up online. Um, it had a, a really kind of funny, uh, honest description, but it was so honest that I, I don't think very many people actually want to buy it. Of the many things that you know are particularly wrong with this, uh, there's been a lot of, of repairs of, of cracks on the top. There's still a crack here. Um, that, that needs to be taken care of. You know, the lacquer is vintagey. It's got 11 rusty strings on it, um, but it's still a Martin, and you know, a 50-year-old one at that. And so, you know, the biggest thing uh, about you know this guitar is it's right on the edge of needing a neck reset. When you look at the um, the base side, the String action is about you know eight sixty fourths um, at the twelfth fret. It's actually really good on the um, on the treble side. It's maybe six um, you know six sixty fourths, and you know you're not going to be playing lead on this. The the neck uh, you know is a nice big baseball bat sort of thing, um, and you know the other thing is you know Martin didn't start using truss rods until the mid eighties or adjustable truss rods. And so, you know, there's no adjustment that I can make to try and kind of bend this down. So the first thing I'm going to do is just, you know, what I do with any guitar that I get is, is kind of clean it up um, real well, see, see what needs to be, you know, repaired, you know, what's just, you know, old crust. And then um, the way I'm going to approach this maybe needs a neck reset is actually to install a bridge doctor. Um, what a bridge doctor does is... You know, works as as a lever to take you know a, a guitar top that's sunken. So you know, between the sound hole and the bridge, you know, it can actually bend up over time due to the string tension. And so, what a bridge doctor does is is actually undoes that um, through you know just a series of adjustments. Um, in this case, the one that I got is um, you know completely um, removable. You don't have to drill any holes, and so. Um, I'm going to put the bridge doctor in, see how that affects the action. Um, the guitar is playable. I've, I've been playing it for, you know, a couple minutes. Um, it's definitely better in the, the lower chord area than kind of further up the neck, but you generally don't play lead on a, a 12 string as it is. So nevertheless, let's get this cleaned up and put the bridge doctor in and see if it uh, remedies the problem. Overall, I got pretty lucky with the condition of this guitar. Um, first, I cleaned it with, with distilled water and a shop towel. Then I used naphtha. And other than you know, a little bit of grime on the fretboard, um, you know, most of the things that you see here are actually uh, in the lacquer. There wasn't a whole lot of dirt, um, finger oils, or anything else on here. And so you know, with the strings off, the next step is to actually go ahead and install the bridge doctor. Um, the bridge doctor is just a handful of, you know, it's a dowel, uh, a piece of wood, and essentially what you do is you just take this, put it inside, you know, the bridge, <clears throat> and then you have these pins, uh, and the expectation is that you use these brass pins um, to create a pinless bridge system so that you no longer put the strings through the bridge, um, at least in the case of the 12 string, it would be the second set of strings. And, you know, you screw it in, and then by using this, you know, dowel and the pin in the end, you can tighten this, you know, to touch the back um, where the uh, tail pin goes and actually pushes the top up a little bit. And so, what I need to do now is, you know, there's three um, three holes in the in the bridge, uh, because the bridge for a 12 string is, is bigger than than uh, six string. Uh, I'm going to move this to the back hole um, to give me um, more leverage, um, you know, with with this piece. Okay, so now with the piece in the back, you can see that when I line this up with the hole. It's going to be pushing right in front of the bridge, but of course on the underside. And so it'll be pushing up the bridge pad this way and trying to, you know, bring some of the belly out. 
the belly isn't too bad on this one. Um, so, you know, I think that's a good thing. Um, it might limit how much uh, adjustment we actually get um, and find out that the, the neck has to be reset. The directions indicate that the brass pins have different size holes and you put each of these in um, all of the holes except for the, the where the D um, string would go. And essentially what happens is this becomes a pinless bridge, uh, at least for the back set of um, the 12 string uh, strings. And so basically just reach inside And they indicate that you should make these tight using a safety pin um, or something. Uh, I've got them finger tight from underneath. I feel like that should be sufficient. So I'll go ahead and just install these uh, everywhere except for the, the D string. And so we have the, the five brass pins in place. And so now what we can do um, is to start fitting um, the actual bridge doctor piece. And so the first thing that you need to do is, I believe this is three eighths, um, is, is use a wrench to take out the adjustment nut. What we'll do is we'll pass the dowel through in order to measure um, the, the exact size that we need. So the pin will go in like this. Okay, so now I have the, the bridge doctor piece in place. We can now take the, the dowel and push it in. And the, the goal of this, again, is to, to make sure that the dowel fits um, exactly towards the um, the tailpiece hole. Okay. So now I have it aligned here with the um, tail block, and I don't know if I can capture this, but there's a little bit sticking out, and so we'll mark that with a pen, and then um, we need to cut not only that line off. Um, but an additional three eighths of an inch so that um, there's enough room um, for the adjustable nut to you know, be able to function. It might just be easier actually just to take this out. The dowel stuck in pretty well. So we need to cut off you know, this little bit right here. And so if, if our mark is right here, we need to go an additional three-eighths of an inch over. Um, and I'll do that just by quick measurement. And just as validation, we can use you know, our set screw here to look. Um, and so you're basically you're cutting off room so that the set square has somewhere to line up. And now I just finger tighten that. Hopefully I can get this in place without too much trouble. Okay, so we've got all that aligned up and now um, we can just tighten, finger tighten um, the set screw on the inside so that the bridge doctor doesn't move around. And then after this, we'll have to figure out um, a way to measure how much tension we actually want to put against the M block. Okay, so you can see now here, here's the, um, the bridge doctor. Unfortunately, it's pretty difficult to get a, a view of, of the dowel, but you know, the dowel is, is going to be adjusted you know, by this black screw. Okay. 
So already I've tightened it down a little bit. What I can do is, is use my um, square here. And so from the front of the bridge, okay, it's not quite, you know, 90 degrees. So I'll keep tightening it until either it feels uh, awkward to tighten it anymore or that we can close up that gap. Okay, so I just heard a little bit of a noise. So I'm gonna stop for right now. Um, I think we're in pretty good shape though. We've, we've managed to put the bridge doctor in. The post is tight against the um, post is tight against the end block, and you know we've tightened it down a little bit so that the be you know the belly is getting removed. And so now I think the next thing is to um, really just put the strings on and kind of see um, what the neck action is looking like. All right, well, I got everything restrung, and you can see um, that we've got a nice fresh set of strings uh, and we have our bridge doctor on. Um, I'm gonna slowly bring this up to pitch, so I'm not gonna play it now as a sound sample. Uh, I'll probably let this settle for a few days um, just to really make sure, you know, the tension is good and, and kind of dial, in it, dial it in uh, in any way that I can. Um, you know, my first impression here I'm not sure if these brass pins are just for aesthetics to match the one that's actually connecting the bridge doctor. Um, making it a uh, kind of pinless bridge is an interesting concept. I don't know what that's going to do, if anything. Um, in some ways, I think it changes the brake angle a little bit, it makes it a little less. So like I said, I don't know if that's part of the system or if it's just aesthetics or what, but uh, we'll see how that goes. Unfortunately, you know, I don't have any um, sound samples from the beginning. The strings were so crusty um, and I didn't want to, you know, spend $20 just to get a, a before sound. Um, but I do think this has a reasonable chance um, of making a positive improvement. So, um, like I said, I'll come back in a couple of days and let you know my final thoughts. So as it turns out, I don't need to wait a couple of days. I tuned up the guitar. Um, and I was worried that these brass pins weren't going to give me enough um, downward string pressure. And, um, you know, that is the case. And so when you hit the low E, right, you just have this horrible um, buzzing sound. And, you know, I suspect what the case is here is that, you know, as this guitar got further and further away from spec, the saddle got lowered and lowered until eventually this, this won't work. And so the one thing I can say is, you know, using my string action gauge, I did get about a 64th of an inch uh, improvement. And so the, um, the string doctor, or the bridge doctor, excuse me, uh, is doing what it's supposed to do. It, it has rotated this up. It's given a bit more support. Um, the guitar sounds beautiful on the bottom four sets of strings where there is enough um, string angle. And so, you know, I think we're on the right track here. Unfortunately, you know, it does look like, you know, this neck has to be reset. And so I'm gonna end this video here because, you know, resetting a neck um, is its own gigantic process. But um, hopefully if you have a guitar that has a, a bit of a belly bulge where the string action is just slightly too high, um, you know, give Bridge Doctor a try. You know, it's a reversible mod. Um, at least when you use the the brass um, when you use the brass bridge pins one, and you know I don't see there being a downside to you know having the support in here right now. As I said, with the new strings, um, when it's not buzzing, it sounds you know fantastic. And so yeah, I'll end it here, and then when I decide to either reset this neck or have it reset by somebody, um, I'll, I'll post a follow up. Thanks for watching.